afternoon, everyone. This is Jared Rand, and welcome to the Global Guided Meditation Call. <clears throat> Excuse me for November sixteenth, twenty nineteen, three p.m. Eastern. It is so important for each of us to understand on our own what it means to accepting and appreciating who we are, how we think and feel about where we are headed, and what we are doing with our lives and how we can plan on arriving home. And no matter how challenging the journey or crazy our lives may seem, it's just that when we fully say yes to it, every day can only get easier. It goes goes back to Stilling uh, the mind, freeing the mind from all the limiting ideas that it has, and opening our hearts to accepting everything about ourselves. And we just constantly say yes to ourselves all the time, all of it. Everything that we are, yes, too. It is amazing that we are such divine creations, yet it's, it's almost like, you know, have you ever held things back? You know, you want to do, no, maybe I better, I'll hold that back for now. And in the respect of each of us, we can just let go. And it's really important that we do that because all of us, in their, in their, each in our own ways, are discovering the God within us. So as we do that, we become more aware and more understanding on how to be very kind to ourselves. You know, a lot of us will um, be pretty hard on ourselves. We talk with ourselves, how we act with ourselves. I'm not talking about other people. I'm just talking about you and how you do treat yourself. And it's important to constantly stay at the best we can and the high frequencies. And we all know what those are. We, the, the high frequencies are love and joy and peace and kindness and patience with ourselves. A lot of the times, it's real easy to get ourselves in a tizzy or to, you ever notice that when you get in a tizzy, so to speak, whenever you feel that hurriedness seeping in, what happens? It, it, isn't, it isn't really fun because everything's kind of like downhill at that point. And we get so whipped up in it that we aren't cognizant to it. It's kind of strange how that happens. And... We, and by the time we do, we've, we've spewed out so much to the universe that we're just getting lambasted by more of the same. For the civilization to literally move way ahead of where it's at, this is a very key application for each of us. People have said to me, you know, it's really hard to stay in love with all the things going on in my
my life. And I go, yeah, it, it, is, it isn't a cinch, but the more you embrace it and practice it, the more it becomes part of you. You see, the habits that we have, not necessarily good ones in some respects, it's no different. We put ourselves into a habit. And a lot of people feel that it is uncomfortable. It's discomforting. I don't, you know, I, I've had people say, I don't, I really don't like to, um, the feeling I'm getting. It, it doesn't feel right. And that is the ego mind uh, pulling uh, at us, trying to convince us that, no, you don't, you don't want to go, you don't care to go there. You don't care to go there. And there, there's things that we do in our vibrational frequencies through the words that we use that cause us to attract things. Like, for instance, try this for the rest of the day over the rest of the weekend. <clears throat> See if you can catch yourself saying, saying things like this. I don't want... Okay. See if you can catch yourself when you say that in conversation with your friends, with your family, whatever. And see if you can make an understanding of to negate that statement. I don't want this. I don't want to have this happen. I don't want to have that happen. I don't want this. Because you know what happens? It comes to you. The universe gives it to you. And we don't realize that. And how many times have you said you didn't want, but you got? Okay. I don't want that to happen, and it happens. It's just about becoming more conscious about some of the things that we're in the habit of saying. Because it's an intent, say. Instead of you could say, and, and this is this works very well. I really don't care to participate in that. I really don't care for that to come in. It's a difference. It's a different frequency. But when you say, I don't want, you're going to get just about every time. It's just the way it works. <clears throat> so be mindful of how you communicate with yourself. It, it is with yourself. That's how it works. And the more love that we give ourselves, and that includes the body, and, I, and, I, and it's a real tricky one here because the body, we're not talking about, we're talking about a deep gratitude for our bodies. <clears throat> Excuse me. A deep gratitude for our bodies. and a kindness to our bodies and talking to our bodies. It's like you say, how you doing? You know, we have um, people, I'm sure some of you know some people that are in condition, the physical body is in a, um, a situation where uh, it is in trouble with cancers and other diseases. And we have some people that are experiencing that right now. And for them, it is to love their body and to communicate with it. Period. Because we we are doing everything we can to assist those 
that are in that physical condition. And believe you me, it has a lot to do on how they will sustain by how they keep their frequencies. This is a real challenge when your body is in disarray like that for you to stay in a high frequency, a stay in a joy, in a happiness, in a bliss. Because the danger is, is that the mind, the ego mind will start to really, really uh, dictate to the heart mind and that's where the frequencies begin to drop and you just cannot afford for your frequencies to drop, especially when the body is in a disarray. So it, it, see how challenged that is for some is because they're in fear of having to leave the body, okay? They're in fear of that because it has been a home. So if they understand that, well, then I can increase my, my vibrational frequency to allow the body to assist in the disarray, the anomaly, the dis-ease that it is experiencing. And so, you know, and I, I talk with a lot of people in those positions, in those conditions. And some I've spent hours talking with about the fact that their, the imperativeness of them to literally be on a high plane of frequency uh, consistently and to really love themselves. It is important. And for those of us who are not in disarray, it is also important for us to love us, to love ourselves. Because that's part of the journey within us. And it's an accepting. And I'll tell you what it does. When this happens, and you do make that choice, and you do commit to the journey within you, it balances, it begins to balance your frequencies. You know, it's like, if you ever, you ever get a, old, a wrinkly shirt that is so wrinkled that you really have to pop out the old ironing board, and the iron, <coughs> excuse me, because that's the only way you're going to get it straight. In a lot of situations with our bodies, it's the only way to get it straight is to increase our vibrational frequency so that the wrinkles are released. And, and to be in meditation and to be in stillness. And that one of the most impactful and the absolute paramount is to be in the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. And that's just meditation. The highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. The reason is, is that you can sustain that for yourself. You can actually sustain that from your heart mind. Everything for you is going to change almost instantaneously. You will start experiencing things that will literally knock your socks off because of the fact that you weren't cognizant or conscious of the impact and the power of that frequency of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. It resets your God clock, so to speak. You begin to move in more fluidity and your, your perspective is greatly shifted and changed. And this means that the, your field, so to speak, your aura, becomes much more harmonized. Instead of jagged and, and uh, you know, low here and wide there, and thin here and, and fat there, it begins to harmonize. And, and I mean for everything. And the deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitude for 
everything. Now, here's a tough one. You have someone who has cancer. And probably the best thing that they can do is through the heart mind, not the ego mind, because the mind is not going to be effective at all because it is always the heart mind. What do you think creates is the heart mind? And the heart mind oversees the, the ego mind. So it literally leads the ego mind. So when you can say, I am in the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes, and I am grateful for my cancer. I know that sounds really strange to a lot of people, okay? But it is very true. It is very impactful. And most people, they won't do it. They won't say it. They think it's condemning them. But it does the opposite. That you are in, you are in the deep. You're in the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes for your cancer, for your Alzheimer's, for your dementia, for whatever it may be, irritable bowel syndrome, uh, 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 Crohn's disease, whatever it may be. Yes, this takes courage within us, but we are the kingdom of God, and it, and it's very uncomfortable. Yes, it is because we have never gone there. And why? Because the ego mind dictates and sends the thought of fear to the heart mind and the heart mind, you embrace that fear and you turn it into a reality. That's how it works. That's where fear is born and with all of us, whatever the situation may be. Living in fear of anything is debilitating, to say the least. It will pull you hook, line, and sinker right down into the lowest of frequencies of matter, energy, survival frequency. Okay? This is knowledge. It's what this is. And when you, when you understand, the, when you gain that knowledge and you understand these things, you'll do it with ease. It will not be a challenge and there will not be any fear. In the beginning, there will be. There will be in the beginning. So the most important thing is gratitude. It is the utmost important factor in our literally shifting ourselves to the God within us. It's gratitude for everything. And I mean deeply felt and deeply conveyed to yourself. No matter what it is. Gratitude for everything. And people think it's really silly and stupid. Okay, so I broke my arm and you're, you're saying to me that I should be in the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitude for my broken arm? Are you crazy? And this is how we've been trained in this civilization. So what happens when we do that? We say, I'm, I, you know, I'm of the highest, the deepest, deepest, deepest gratitude for my broken arm or my broken finger or my sprained toe, whatever. It gives us the understanding that we can appreciate the actual arm that we have that we were able to break a bone in it. Okay? That's what it does. Yes, you broke a bone. Yes, it was painful. But by giving and showing that gratitude through the heart mind, you're acknowledging and being very grateful and thankful that you actually have an arm that can break a bone. It's the same with everything. It's like uh, when you when when you look at cancer and you say, "I am in the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitude for my cancer," because my cancer draws attention to my body and to be grateful that I have a body. Okay? You see where our direction
election goes, do you see that we we become fear gripped with this invasion in our body? And our frequencies, we it, it's almost like we can't help it that the frequencies lower because of the 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 literally the ego mind dictating to the heart mind in creating the fear. And so the fear drops your frequency, which then in turn increases the invasion into the body. And it literally is mind over matter, heart mind over matter. But here's another thing. The confidence is reduced through the incessant fear from the ego mind. So therefore it is difficult for many to understand and how to be in the deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitudes. If you draw attention to anything and everything, when you're in deep gratitude. You begin to appreciate everything, everything. I have a hang now, you know, I'm an eye of the deepest, deepest, deepest gratitude that I have a hang now, that I have a finger to have a hang now on. I have, I am of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitude for this migraine headache that I have to sit up to sleep because it's so painful. Because you're in the highest, the deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes, because you have a head that houses a brain that you have migraines. And I know this is really different. It's a real big shift away from how the civilization has been taught and things that have been ingrained into it. But believe me, when I share this with you, you will notice a massive change in your body, when you genuinely start operating from the heart mind and the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. So if you will, go to the place where you're not going to be interrupted, which I'm sure most of you are. And the first thing we want to do, this imperative, is to relax the body. And we all hold tension, stress, and fear in different parts of our bodies, okay? And it's, you see, we're really subtle with ourselves about it. And, and a lot of the times we aren't even aware that we're holding it, see? And as we relax, literally through the heart, mind, relax the body, you just let all this stuff pour out and it can be done it's like those of you who carry it in your cervical spine which is the, the back of the neck lower lumbar area down, down through the coccyx, coccyx the gluteus maximus um, your shoulders your face carries stress and anxiety your feet, your toes, I kid you not. I, I, I found a lot of it in doing reflexology on people. Uh, all the stress in their feet is unbelievable. So it's like total release from head to toe inside and out. You have no desire for the stress and the fear or the anxiety. It does not serve you for the higher good. So therefore, it is not required for you to carry it or to conjure it, allowing the ego mind to dictate it to you. So relax the body. And as we're relaxing the body, we want to move into the now. And this is really imperative for any of us to be in the now only. Because you know how the mind wanders. There's just no control factors. The mind is just reckless abandon. And the ego is just pumping away never enough. So, for instance, if, if your body has the cancer and it's active, what happens is, is that, you know, and we know,
mounts to us, the heart, the, the ego mind just goes into high gear. And then the fear starts to um, multiply, which immediately brings the uh, It, 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 it literally takes you into a downward spiral um, emotionally, even though you may not be aware of it, where you're play acting with yourself. And this is any dis-ease in the body. So you must be very conscious of where your frequency is at. Is it in deep eternal love? Is it in the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes? And in the now, it all happens in the now. And in the now, we still the mind. And in the now, we don't wander off into the past. And in the now, we create our future. You see how crucial it is to be very cognizant and conscious about the now and how we operate in the now. And is your heart mind the master and commander? Or is your ego mind the master and commander? This is only for you to know which one it is. And if it is the ego mind, then you know what to do to transfer yourself into the heart mind, which is always about high frequency. It's nothing else. So as we are relax the body and we're in the now, we want to breathe. Breathing is so important for us while we're in these bodies. We want to breath in through the nose and breath out through the mouth. And as we breath in through the nose, real nice, comfortable breath in, real nice, comfortable breath out through the mouth. But as we breath in, we want to hold at 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. And then, breath out. Exhale through the mouth. And for those of you who are new to this meditation and this now in the circle of life, we hold our breath to focus us on the now because the breath is the now. Always has been. Always will be. It can be nothing else. So as you focus on the breath through the heart mind, you begin to understand how to still the mind, how to go into peace and joy, how to fold deeper within yourself. And it's highly advancing. And it is absolutely altering in a very high frequency. Now, and make sure you want to do this at least six times while I'm talking. So as we breathe in, we breath in through the nose, we're breathing in divine positive energy. So what is divine positive energy? It is the sum of the collective consciousness of the universes. It is source creation itself. And since we are all source creation, this, it's, it's a very high frequency, high positivity. And as it comes in through the God within us to the heart mind, we feel the vibrational frequencies of the highest high. And we must always be in the deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitudes for everything, everything. And when you start to do this through the heart mind, you will start to become clearer and clearer on exactly who and what you are. And your perspective will change rapidly. And your existence will be lifted into a much higher frequency. And many things will just flow to you. We don't say that we're of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes for want or for getting. It is purely genuine.
genuinely deep, heartfelt understanding that we are in perpetual gratitude. We don't expect anything from it. We just are. Watch what happens. Now, as we breath out, we're breathing out the argument of the ego mind and the subconscious mind. Oh, that's silly. No, that just, that's just garbage. That's, you don't want to do that. No. See? You don't have to take everything and be gratitude. You know, just, just, just be the way you are and, and just don't pay any attention to that. And that goes on. Instead, you say, no, ego mind, I desire to stay in the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. Because I like it there much more than anything else. Remember, we are merged with the heart mind. And we're also words with the kingdom of God inside of us. And then we come to the understanding genuinely through our heart mind. We are the God. And then we come to the understanding is that we are all one. We are the one. And then that we are all love. We have a big family with us. We have all of the archangels, the cherubim, the seraphim, and the archetypes. All of the angels. All of them. They vibrate at a higher frequency than we do. Does it make them any different than we are from the standpoint of being the God? They have been with us for a very long time. They have been assisting us for a very, very, very long time. And in stillness is when you can commune with them. They are all of the highest of deepest eternal love from the highest of deepest eternal love. And their gods are with our gods and our gods are with theirs. And they're in the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. And we have the ascended masters with us now. We're all ascended masters. They are not in physical body. We are. That's the difference. That's the only difference. Kuan Yin, Maitreya, Buddha, Lakshmi, Ganesh, Gaia. St. Germain, Sananda, Jesus, Pell, Thoth, Abadanchi, Moria, and many, many, many more. And they are with us. Their gods are, are with our gods, and our gods are with theirs. They're all of the highest, deepest, eternal love from the highest, deepest, eternal love. They're in the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. And they come. And they're with us. So picture that. All of us together. Arm in arm, hand in hand, we form our circle of light around the equator of this planet Earth. We literally encase the planet and ourselves in a perfectly, divinely created sphere of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest eternal love. It saturates all within it. Any low frequencies, any malcontent, any attempt for disruption or harm or manipulation is nullified. Those are low frequencies that they cannot interrupt or penetrate the high frequencies of deep eternal love. They cannot unless they become it permanently. So, where do we find ourselves as we've effortlessly float up above the planet? We find ourselves at, on 
on the top of our heads floating, the top of the physical body. Just like a halo floats above the head. We float above the head, heart, mind. And we see all. And as we're doing that, we call upon all the light energy beings and all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever beyond and forever. And only those who are of the highest, deepest, eternal love from the highest, deepest, eternal love can join us in this meditation that's now in a circle of light. And they must be of the highest, deepest, eternal love from the highest, deepest, eternal love. And they're in full compassion. And they're in non-judgment. And they're non-ego. And they're in stillness. And they're in peace, tranquility, and benevolence. They're in happiness, in joy, in bliss, in generosity, in humbleness. And they come in the Google Plexus. One Google Plexus will fill this universe. Several Google Plexus fill several universes. It's unending. And they come in arm in arm, hand in hand, and they join us in this meditation and this now in this circle of life. Their gods with our gods, our gods with theirs. We are never alone, ever. They are in the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes, and we are in the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. We are all one. We are all love. And our God light energy is absolutely everywhere. We call upon all of the inhabitants of inner earth, hollow earth, Agartha, and beneath earth. All of these civilizations. And only those who are of the highest, deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love can join us in this meditation, this now, in this circle of light. They are in full compassion and not judgment. They are not ego. They are in stillness, in tranquility and benevolence, in peace, joy, love, benevolence, tranquility, kindness, generosity, and humbleness. And they come in the billions, arm in arm, hand in hand, they join us in this meditation, in this now, and this circle of life. You see, we all merge in with each other. Their gods with our gods, our gods with theirs, they are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes, and we are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. And we're all one, and we're all love, and our god light energy is absolutely everywhere. We call upon all of the off-worlders, all galactics, many of these civilizations, and only those who are of the highest, deepest, eternal love, from the highest, deepest, eternal love. And join us in this meditation and this circle of lightness now. They're in full compassion and non judgment, in peace and joy, happiness, bliss, non judging, non ego, stillness, tranquility and benevolence, kindness, generosity and humbleness, and they come in the billions they have been assisting us in our evolution in our enlightenment in our ascension freeing ourselves from our own self-imposed bondage and our own self-imposed slavery arm in arm hand in hand they merge with us in this meditation in this now in this circle of life their gods with our gods, our gods with theirs. They are 
of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes, and we are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes, and we are all one, and we are all love, and our Godlight energy is absolutely everywhere. We call upon our loved ones who have ascended out of body in this lifetime and all lifetimes that we've inhabited. Only those who are of the highest, deepest, eternal love, from the highest, deepest, eternal love, can join us in this meditation and this now in the circle of light. They're in full compassion and non-judgment. They're in stillness. They're non-ego. Bliss, joy, peace. Generosity, humbleness, kindness, tranquility, and benevolence. And they come in the billions, arm in arm, hand in hand. They join us in this circle of light and this meditation is now. They merge with us. Their gods with our gods, our gods with theirs. They are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. We are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. And we're all one. And we are all love. And our God light energy is absolutely everywhere. We call upon all of the light energy beings that are decided to be housed in the following forms in, on, above, and below this planet Earth. Only those who are of the highest, deepest, eternal love from the highest, deepest, eternal love can join us in this meditation, in this now, in this circle of light. They are in full compassion. Not judgment, stillness, bliss, peace, joy, non ego, tranquility, benevolence, generosity, humbleness. The fairies, the sprites, the elves, the dwarves, the gnomes, the trees, the elementals, earth, air, or water, fire. The mermaids, the dolphin, the whale, the pegasus, the unicorn, the centaur, the minotaur, and many, many, many more. And they come in the trillions. Shapes, sizes, forms of which we have never seen. their gods with our gods, our gods with theirs, they merge with us in this meditation, in this now, and this circle of light. They are the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes, and we are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. And we are all one, and we are all love, and our god light energy is in all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever beyond and for ever. We look up and we see our meditative sphere. It's at center circle. We created this sphere. It holds all of our meditations in perpetual motion. Hundreds of them. It is the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest eternal love. It can be seen, heard, and felt in all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever beyond and forever. Feel it flood you, your physical body, from the top of your head all the way through to the bottom of your feet. The kingdom of God is bathed in this source of deep eternal love. This is what we all are. Feel your heart, mind. Feel your body is renewed with this wave of unending, pure, deep, eternal love, light, energy. It is a wonderful frequency. And when we operate from the heart, mind, it is felt deeply and joyously. We look down upon the planet and see all of our brothers and sisters, all life. And we're 
managed to flood them with knowing this through their heart mind, through their kingdom of God. Because understand something, we're all one. We intend with the deepness in our kingdom of God and the, and the God that we are, that we love them all. We love all life. And we are in the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. And we intend that for them to discover the deepness of their gratitudes and to embrace it and to elevate themselves into placing themselves with the gratitude always in all things. And this floods over all things, all life, because we are all one and we are all love and our Godlight energy is everywhere, absolutely. So we maintain high frequencies through the heart mind of being in the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes, always, and watch things transform for each and every one of us. I'll join you in the meditation. I'll return to close this out.
quiet for this day into the evening and night, the following morning. Move yourself, it's your decision. Move yourself into the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes for everything. It doesn't matter what occurs. You view it from the perspective of how grateful you are for it occurring. And you will definitely, with no doubt, shift in everything will change only through the heart mind not intended through the ego mind it must come from your heart it must come from the kingdom of God within you and only then will you notice a profound shift if you do and you notice nothing you will know it is not from the heart mind Understand the mind is not the emotion. The emotion is the heart mind. That's where the real intent comes from. That's why the heart mind is so much more powerful than the ego mind. That's the mind with the ego attached to it.